welcome back with us for our third time as Andy B. Fit. Thanks for having me back. Do you like that you were at the beginning of the show? I do. The first episode? I do. I feel comfortable coming back. <laughs> and you've done so much. Like, every time you come back, you've either done a show, yeah. had a lot of women that you were helping in a show. True. And Because you went to Vegas earlier this year, right? I did, yeah, for the USA Nationals. And so tell us about, did your people win? Um, well, Mercedes, she turned pro at that show. Um, nice. And I had a couple other people, and they did not get their pro cards, but they were really close. So hopefully oh, this year no. they will. <laughs> and then Bobby, was that her show too? She, was she for that one? Or she uh, no, one? she did um, an L.A. show recently, and then she did the Arnold Amateur in Ohio, which was because you were coaching her for those, right? Uh, Both yeah. of them. Mm -hmm. How'd she do for that? She won um, her class, um, and then at the Arnold Amateur, she did not get her pro card, but it was really, really hard. Oh. You know, it's really hard to get your pro card, so it's like, uh, you know, three percent people will turn pro. So like, they did very well, but you know, just not there yet. But they will be. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. You just got to keep going for the next time. Yeah. So what are you up to during this time? Um, well, since I do hair, um, I'm not, our salon's closed and the spin classes, that's closed. Um, for all my athletes and stuff, I, you know, everybody was kind of freaking out. Like, I don't have a gym and I can't find meat and, you know, <laughs> what do I do? And so I kind of, um, wrote out these home gym workouts for them to do I'm like go get some dumbbells go get a kettlebell and some bands and wrote them out some like plyos and stuff and then um you know i'm like whatever meat you can find if you can't find chicken well find now turkey. our meats are back yeah right? i feel like they yeah, are meats, now yeah. it was just when it first happened everybody was kind of freaking the out panicking. yeah i was like go buy some protein powder and all of that but um you know i have a gym at home I can't do everything, but well, I have. I know where I'm gonna be. Like, I have some stuff, you know, so I'm able to do a few things. I have some cardio machines and. Well, you're pretty um, resourceful. I feel like yeah. you could get a workout, even though it's not the one that you're used to. I mean, we just all right. have to adjust a little bit. That's what I told people. I'm like, you can do everything with some dumbbells. Like, you can just make stuff happen. It's so. just not what you prefer. And even without, you can use other stuff other than dumbbells too. For sure, uh, you can. Use if you're going to get in the tree trunks. Yeah, you can. Sorry. Bench press your dog. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, what's going on now? So, were you prepping for some shows and coaching some people, and now everything took because we're not having Fresno Classics. No, I know. I, know, I, had, I had Jim here last week, and oh was yeah, pretty sad about that. So. Yeah, it's it's a bummer. You know, that's this town. A lot of people they don't they're nervous to travel outside of the town and compete. Even though this is a big show, they don't think it's going to be. <laughs> and I asked him, I said, do you want to um, do it later on in the year? And he's kind of like, no, he doesn't think yeah. to replace that, which is really sad. Well, some are trying to replace, you know, find better dates for it. but I, And some are just waiting till next year. So I think Fresno is going to be one of those waiting till next year. Um, but, you know, I'm trying to keep everybody on track. I don't think everybody's staying on track. <laughs> Only some of them did their check-ins, which means the other ones are eating <laughs> and not working out. But, you know, what can we do at this point? I'm just kind of like, you've got to do what you can do, and then we'll see Yeah, survival happens. mode, and which we should exactly. all be prepared for, because you're in the gym, and we know survival mode. So. Well, yes, we do. But nobody was prepared for the gym's closing. <laughs> like, yeah. That's... It, it was like, like people were literally like blowing me up and I'm like I'm in the same position like I wish I could help you but oh yeah every day people would be asking about GP3 too huh? everyone started it my phone oh, was getting flooded yes and I'm like I don't I can't I can't control this pandemic like I don't know and you the thing is we didn't know what was happening ourselves yeah. I happened to be there when and, and George was there and we were all like no this is shutting down today yeah. but just up until like the hour we were there talking about and then it was like yeah it was, everything was going to the minute yeah it was crazy so um, you know, I think I'm just trying to tell everybody, you know, there's so much stuff you could do at home. You can go run outside. You know, there's so much home stuff you can do, even though it's not the same. You know, there's no machines and stuff like that, but you can find something to do at home. It's, it's easy. Is it, what's the next thing to prepare for? 
that we know of? Like, is there something coming up on August or September that we're getting ready for? Well, I, I just, the week that all this happened, I had just started prep for my shows, um, which was going to be in June. Um, Did you well, stop all that, kind of? Kind of. I mean, uh, I, I still am semi-preparing, but I feel like the show's not going to happen. So, um, so you know, I'm being at home so much, I go to my fridge a lot and kind of, you know, when nobody's around, I'm kind of like, yeah, I don't want to go in my garage and do cardio. But, you know, I, I still, in the back of my mind, know it's a show's going to happen, so I'm kind of starting to prepare because I have to lose a lot of weight. <laughs> so... Um, oh, which what show is this? Why do you have to lose as a bikini? Um, no, I'm doing fitness again. Okay. Remember how I had to lose like that 50 pounds? Of oh, is that what you were muscle. doing the gymnastics, or is this a yes. different? Are you doing yeah. the same show? I'm doing the same division. The same this division. This one is in Toronto. And I love those. I love that. And honestly, I think your body looked the best ever for that show. I loved it. A lot of people did like it. Like you look so much better that way. And did you not like it? I really like being bigger and muscular that to me that I felt really small but um I was able to move around a lot better after losing all that <laughs> all so that you muscle. felt a little more energy I did it was a lot easier I started practicing when I was 170 pounds so then when I got to like the 130s it was a lot easier to flip around <laughs> oh, what a lot of what you have to, so what do you have to lose again to do that one um well I'm about 170 now so about a good 30 or 40 pounds so. <laughs> oh my that's gonna be hard yeah it is but I don't think I I think the last time I was here I was gonna do the show so I did end up doing that show and it was fun um did you place um, well, I made first call outs. I had never, ever competed in that, and so I had went and competed against It was pros. a newer show. Wasn't it kind of a newer show? Um, that division? I thought the gymnastics and all that stuff was new. Um, no, fitness has been around. It's just, um, not popular in the amateurs, so it's, it's popular in, like, you know, like, Olympia and all of those things. Okay. So, for me, it was just something I had never done, and, um... Um, I did good, oddly. I think I got, like, 10th or something. Um, I don't remember. Maybe it was 9th. But um, it was definitely way different than what I'm used to. So, um, and I was really, really sick, even though that's not an excuse. I was. Um, <laughs> but um, it was fun. So I loved it. I'm going to do it again. Hopefully um, my skills and everything will be a lot better gymnastics-wise. And I'm that you can still on. practice right now I, during yeah. the pandemic. Luckily, I do have a gymnastics mat and some stuff like that at home. So I am practicing all my skills and going to go again and see what happens. So, so when you place, I mean, who are all these people that are going ahead of you? Are they pros, the people that are beating you or potentially going above you? Yeah, because I have to compete in the pro leagues. Okay, so they, it is all pros. You're not yeah. getting somebody that amateur. No, is going I wish. <laughs> If I could have gone back to the amateurs, I would have for this division just because it was so new So to these me. shows are only for pros? Yeah. So that means Bobby and other people can't compete in No, this. they can't compete in this until they win national and get their pro, pro card. card. Yeah. So once they get their pro card, then they'll be um, competing in the pro leagues, which will be awesome. And Bobby's competition that she did, um, that was the newest that that had ever been. Right? That's that the LA new won. division, wellness. Are you gonna ever do that one or no, no. That that's pushing it too little for the muscle. <laughs> Fitness is about as far as I'll go with losing muscle. But um um wellness is, is kind of like a more muscular bikini. Right, that's yeah. what it looked like to me. And then so after all of this, um, when you do this next show, are you going to bulk up again for another show like that? We have to put on all that mass. Um, if I go back to women's physique, yeah. But um this season, I'm going to stay in fitness, so I'm going to um, stay smaller. I, I didn't work out for like a year when I was trying to lose all that muscle, but now I'm working out again and stuff like that. I think I lost enough mass in, so I can train again and all of that. So um, I, if I don't do the, very well in fitness this season, I'll go back to women's physique. And yes, I will be getting big. <laughs> <laughs> Is it cool to have these challenges? I mean, was it, it was really to challenge yourself, right? It was. I think I, I've been doing this for so long that I got bored. You know, you I got really bored, new? and um, I've just always wanted to do fitness, so I thought I'm just going to try it, and I, I, I do love it. It's definitely um, 
just it's it's really made me um, into it again. I kind of got s kind of over competing, and now it's kind of the spark of fire and all and that. So, yeah, it's fun. I like uh, it. Bikinis. Um, do we have your information to get your bikinis online? I have. Oh, the Andy B's bikinis. Yeah, can we order them still? Yes, you can order them, and now we're making um, you know regular beach ones. So Thank goodness. We definitely got you on that. I hope you have a fuller butt for some of them. Some of them, I'm like, <laughs> I, do, I cannot have my I butt know. hanging out that much. Yeah, we do. And um, we also started making, like, little kid ones that are like the adult ones, so they do have a bigger butt. So they can oh. have their matching ones with their moms. Um, and then we're doing just regular, um, you know, beach wear. And... Um, my sister is the one that does them, and she's doing amazing. So we were doing extremely well, and then this kind of happened. All the shows stopped, so we've slowed down a little bit. But I'm telling people, like, now is the time to do it because, Do so we know. have all your information. Did you send any of the videos or the um, photos of the bikini? I I, I love these pictures. Oh, my gosh. I, that's so impressive. Were you impressed about your gymnastics skills? Um, I, I was until I went there and saw that my gymnastic skills were not, that good. <laughs> um, but they will be better. <laughs> oh my. They were just a little, I, I mean, I could pick myself apart all day. They were just a little, you know, sloppy in some areas, but the, the goal is to not have that happen this time. <laughs> so you feel like you have more endurance and strength now with everything that's going on? Um, strength wise, flexibility, yeah. I, I had I had lost all my flexibility. Oh yeah. So, um, I've done yoga flexible. with Jim, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I could yoga. I should take yoga actually, but I don't. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely feel like I have more flexibility and um, you know lighter and all that stuff when I'm show ready. And but, all of these are your bikinis. You create. You made all of your own, right? Um, it's, yes. No? Except for I don't know about the photo shoot. Which one? I, that one. I loved it. Those yeah. new photos. How about, what was your, who was your photographer for that? Um, Carla. She's one of my um, figure competitors. She's an amazing photographer. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. She's she's amazing. So um, I think I tagged her in all my um, photography. So. So regular bikinis. How much do they run? The the regular swimwear. Um, I want to say they're between like sixty and a hundred. Oh, yeah. that's more in my price range. <laughs> yeah, they're not like a thousand, like the Andy B's bikinis. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, they all range. I mean, you can really have it as as low as you want and as high as you want. You know, if you want to do all Swarovski crystals and connectors, yeah. you can get crazy and it can get high up there. But for the most part, the reason we started it was so people can afford it. Uh, it wasn't like a trying to get rich thing. It was a convenience yeah. of, of being here. Well, yeah, you knew what people needed. Well, I hope yes. that we can... Um, Cause we're gonna need bikinis, girl. In a couple, yes. of we are gonna have some summer, I think. So I think, <laughs> I think we will. We all need. We to might go. be at home in our backyard, but we're gonna have a summer. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on, Andy. And then we got um, everyone's gonna look at your Instagram to see your daily workout, your weekly workouts you've been posting. All right.